What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know, just what's that? Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there, too. And it's time to get this reaction video start. Right, movie review. Movie review. All right, y'all. This past weekend, I watched the movie The Lobby. Is that how you say it? The Lobby. And it has the Kanga in it. I do. I love the Kanga. You know, I'm, I've watched that recent one of her, um, Mana Carnita. Is that the name? Loved her in that. But this one I really wanted to check out because it's based on the true story of the actress. With, uh, I just call her Jaya. Jaya, but it's like Jaya La. Thaya, th Jaya, la th and it's based on, and it's back in the day, right? So this is like a true story based on this actress. But I really wanted to check out because I love, you know, the Bollywoods and the Tollywoods and the Kollywood, all of them, the Sandalwood, all of them. And this kind of gave a behind the scenes of like the olden days behind the scenes, like making of these movies, or at least the actors and actresses. So I had never really seen anything like behind the scenes of this. And I was like, let's check this out. And let me tell you, I was so interested. I was just, I think of every part. I love the political aspect of it because I, you know, I love my po politicals, my politics. I love the behind the scenes, uh, you know, like making these Bollywood, Kali. I know I'm going to say Bollywood, but you know, I mean all the woods. I mean, the the all the indie woods, the, the Kali's, the Tali's, the sand, all the woods. Actresses and actors back in the day. Like that one guy, what is he called? MRJ is, that's the, that's the, what is it? MGR, MGR. You know, they, they. He's like, was like a godlike figure to them almost. Like some of these legends, they're almost, you know, looked upon like, like they're this divine being, which I found interesting, but I have seen it before. Like I've seen, you know, some that people look at these, these actors and actresses and stars and singers also, and they look at them and, and they look at them like they're just these legends almost, you know, almost like a godlike figure. And they addressed that in this movie, which I found was interesting. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about the movie. So the movie starts in, and Jaya, she's she's like already in the politics. It starts ahead of time and then it goes back into time, but she's already in the politics. And like those first scenes, she's in there, you know, saying her stuff. She's She is up in there, strong female. And this like parliament, I guess it's a parliament. I wouldn't know what you call it. With all, with all the politicals and all the politicians and stuff. And she gets up and says her things and they don't like it. And they attack her. They were down there kicking her and trying to pull her clothes off and her sorry and everything. And after she left, she even mentioned, which it stuck to me because when I was watching this, you know, I'm watching the Mahabharat and doing all those, uh, episode reading not watching all those episodes and doing the reviews and everything but that scene reminded me of it which she addresses she comes out of that that uh, it's not a courtroom but that part of that big political building and and all the cameras in there and the media and everything and she says it she's like this was like the Mahabharat what they did to try to do to Drapati. They was they were like, they were treating me like this. They were in there trying to rip my sari off and and, de and embarrass me in front of everybody and, and kicking and treating me abusive. That's what I thought too when I was watching that scene. So for her to even mention that, I was like, oh, she was up in my mind. So then we see that happen. But then we get flashbacks of like her, her starting her career. We get flashbacks of her like in the beginning. I guess her parent, her her mom was maybe an actress and devoted that, and she tried to make her daughter an actress and everything. And they had this guy who's like, I had to even Google him to see what he looks like because I was like, oh, he had that little mustache and everything. But M M G R, and he was like this this huge you know actor, and and everybody just looked at him like he was just this legend and. And, you know, so much so that when he's in public, they didn't want any of the girls to even, like, be affectionate with him. And he had an actress at that time, remember? And she was affectionate. And and his little boss, I don't know, a manager, I don't even know who to call that guy. And he comes up and tells her, he was like, uh, don't act that way. You can have your little fun on the set and joke around. But when you're in public, he has, 
like a reputation to uphold and don't be getting too affectionate with him up in public and what did she say she was like oh well that movie's halfway halfway filmed it ain't over yet you don't talk to me like that and then they bring her up in there and they burn everything he's like i don't care about your money <laughs> he was like i don't care the film's halfway done He's a legend in these people's eyes. They look at him and like he's a god like, and you don't mean nothing. I couldn't believe that. I was shocked. And then they're going to come and replace her with the Jaya. And I thought they were going to kick her out because Jaya wasn't playing around either at the beginning. Right? He walked in, remember that part? And, and everybody stood like, oh, he's here. Oh, blessings and all this. And they stood and she just, she just sat there reading her book. I was like, oh, you try to get off a bad start. You don't know what they did to that last girl. You're just in there reading your book, not even standing. And, and he saw that. And they're going to tell you something. And you ain't even going to, your mom's telling you, stand up. And she's like, oh, no, he's got to earn my respect. I was like, uh-oh, she's in trouble. But he did earn her respect at me because it had that part that the guy on the set hurt himself. And and they rushed over there. Did you know he got stuck with the steward? And he was like, oh, no, you're going to be in this film. I'm going to pay for your medical expense. Like, he, you sh they showed that MGR. He was like a nice guy. And that kind of earned her respect in her eyes, right? So you're like, oh, okay. All right, I like him. I like him, and that's how she was too. I like him, and then that, them two just bonded right there. They did all the movies together. But you know, I found these videos of like the real, like it, it did, it showed Kanga the from the movie, and then the real footage from like Hollywood and every, or I'm gonna say Hollywood now. You know what I mean? If the real footage of the studios of them filming, I was like, oh, we gotta watch these together. We have got to watch these together. This one right here is just the Lavi. Is that how you? Yeah, I still can't say it right. The Lavi real R E E L versus real. Like, is it really real? <laughs> Let's see what they look like because this is going to put side by side what they look like in, in, in real life and then in the movie with Conga playing. Y'all ready? Go. Yeah, real versus real. The police. <laughs> Oh, that's the movie. Look at that. Like, that is... They did good trying to recreate these scenes. Look at that. Oh, they ain't showing it very long, are they? <laughs> but, but, I mean, this looks so... That looks like such like the real version, doesn't it? That looks such like the real version. They... We're true to this. Well, oh! <laughs> I love Kanga. But I mean, look at that. This is so good. I'm telling you, they did not mess around trying to authenticate the real the the real foot from the real footage trying to replicate that they did such a job let's check out this one i have one more and it's the songs it's compared like the new songs to the old ones in like the, the movies that they did y'all ready to do this let's go oh i remember that part she had to hug them remember oh that's so good i'm really impressed i am the author it's like the authenticity how come in this part right here when she was in that outfit it reminded me of helen salmon khan stepmom look at that they did a great job in this movie uh, like re reimagining that re re like replicating it it looks so authentic to like the original movies and, and the sets and everything i thought that was terrific i loved it i was like oh and i didn't appreciate it fully until i watched these and i was like oh wow how close it is to the real version so apparently with a lot of these it seems a lot of these actors that are like legends and stuff it seems like they always get into the politics right and that MJR, he was from the beginning. And he really, like, was into it. And he so much, he got the Jaya into it. Which is something because... 
And she really didn't get into it till she could see the good she could do with it, right? That's when she really got into it because he was into it, gave up, uh, you know, the acting almost. It was like, you can't even be seen with her because she's an actress and you have to be like a, a serious politician. And, but he got her into it. But he tried to, he's like, you just do good for the people and listen to the people and they will love you. And that's what she did because remember, she saw that school and they were feeding them like junk. They were feeding them like spoiled food and all that. And she went and changed all that. Like, oh, it, that, I, I mean, if there's a reason to get into politics, that would be it. I was with her. Like, I was like, don't get into politics. I, I feel the same. I'm like, I never want to get into politics. That dirty. But if it's to do good for the people, that's the reason. And he even, he even made the comment like, oh, don't, don't get in. People don't, that don't want to get into politics, those are the ones that should. And I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. And I think they had the perfect actress for this. I told you, I love the Kanga. I do. I've seen her in other stuff. But I also know she's pretty outspoken herself and pretty political herself, right? And I was like, well, what better person to have on this? Like a movie about an actress, which she is. Gets into politics, which she's pretty political herself. She did a great job. Maybe because she kind of lived this life. It was maybe easier to play the part. She lived the life of the actress and, and, and also like the politics. And even the politics where people are, were attacking her, right? Wasn't Kanga, didn't she like, was either threatened to get arrested or she did get arrested like for her views and, and everything recently. I don't know if they actually jailed her up or what, but they were like coming after her. So they, they were attacking her. So she is used to this. She, sh this isn't nothing new to her, which I think that's probably why she was a star in this. She did so well is because like, she's like, I'm just living my life on screen, telling my own kind of story in this one. Like the history they give in this movie too. Like I was watching it and they had like Indira Gandhi. I was like, oh, I know Indira Gandhi. <laughs> You know, I didn't know that she was like, a, was she was assassinated or, see, I didn't know the full story. I, it, but this right here, watching this makes me want to go and research all that. It makes me want to go read about on the history of, of this time. And that's what a good movie should do, especially ones uh, based on the historical events. It should make you interested in it. It should make you want to go back and, and read about it and learn about it. I liked it. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Maybe too is for my own little bias reasons of I like the historical events of it. I like, you know, the 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 studio part of it, the the actors and actresses and back in that day and and creating movies. So I love the history of the the movie cinema of that time. I love Kanga. <laughs> I love her, so she's in it. I just enjoyed it. But their relationship, this Jaya and and the MGR. Now, was he married? Because they kept showing some scenes like, you know, he had a wife there, especially in the death, and she's there. But then it just seemed like them two had, like, a closer relationship. Were they, was there, like, adultery going on? <laughs> That's what I was like. I was, I was a little shocked by that. Which, which is, you know, they didn't have to go into it. That wasn't what the movie's about. But this is my own curiosity. I was like, what to, I was like, were they having affairs? She did, wasn't married, right? She never, I don't know if she ever got married, but for what the parts I've seen, it's not like she had any kind of interest in her life other than him. But it seemed like he was married because he always had this one lady around, which they didn't even really talk about her at all. They talked about his first wife. And remember that part she dressed all like, a, and he was like, what? But they didn't see if he was like married now. And then those relationships, it was always like those two, their their relationship together was like always hidden. And they didn't want, and that was one reason he wanted to get out like with the politics, like he couldn't be seen with her and stuff. But then it seemed like they had a little special bond, a little more than friendship. Is there some, some gossip and stuff? I don't know about this that's going on. Anyway, it's not important. That was just my own curiosity. <laughs> But I enjoyed the movie. I did. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I watched it. Uh, let me know what you think. If you've seen it, let me know what you think about it. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah.